This is the most scopes way I've ever seen. That is so much. So hello gamers, recently there are some pretty big changes to the M1903. You got a new scope, the Unertl 8X scope. I don't know what that is or how to say it, I'm sorry. It has a spring in it and it's basically an 8X version of the Malcolm. It's actually really good. And secondly, you have some changes to the air service mag. So the air service mag now has 25 reserve ammo. However, it slows your RPM down a little bit and it actually single loads shells. So, well not shells, bullets, but it takes forever to load all 25. But yeah, you also have the 8X scope. This is a built-in scope on the M1903 Springfield. And honestly, it's really good. I like it way more than the global offensive the global offensive is basically a 10x malcolm if you kind of think about it and this is basically an 8x version of the malcolm so if you want a malcolm with slightly less zoom and it's actually not like 20,000 credits on this gun this is actually a very good option i'm not gonna lie i might use like coyote side or reflex on this gun because it's more of a cqc sniper rifle but this might be a really really good scope if it's available on other sniper rifles because 8x zoom very clean reticle very clean but yeah you can literally shoot four years with this for so long but basically this is reloading 10 out of 25 rounds it takes a while it takes a really really long time so yes yeah, so you do have 25 reserve ammo it slows your bolting speed now with air service mag but you still have 25 bullets so it's still going to be a really nice attachment for certain types of people although overall i'd probably recommend you use just the five round magazines i really like it i think it's a really good idea to have a 25 round sniper conversion basically but now it actually slows your rpm it just is really cool let me know what you guys think about these overall changes they still didn't fix the iron sights from my last video talking about the iron sights if you guys haven't seen that maybe go check that out basically what well, you might want to see the video but basically they made all the iron sights like not zoom in anymore i've heard some people asking can they add a car 98 to this game but do they really like let me know in the comments um what would be different about the car 98 versus this and the mosin it kind of feels like they just have these down man the scope is so good oh I forgot to say this, but they actually changed the air service barrel. You know, the barrel that was a direct upgrade. It's now not necessarily a direct upgrade, but still worth it. Basically what it does is it no longer affects your walk speed, which is fine. You still aim faster with it, which is still pretty good. But most importantly, probably about it is that now it doubles your sway speed, which is kind of ridiculous. I'm not going to lie because basically what that means is when you have a scope, you will actually sway so much. I need to check it. Actually, it would be pretty interesting to see. We talk about how nice this sniper rifle is though like for real so if you're running skeleton grip remove stock and of course the air service barrel you are going to notice oh my gosh oh my gosh whoa this is the most scopes way i've ever seen that is so much. All right, so basically, if you want to use the scope on this gun, maybe use a different setup. But of course, this has extremely fast handling. So it's great for quick scoping, but not great for hard scoping. So overall, a really interesting change. I kind of like this. It's pretty interesting because you kind of got to shift to study and you do not have much study time as well. Wow. Okay, so basically, pretty interesting in terms of like long range sniping for this. This is going to have some huge ramifications on the long range sniping capabilities of this gun. Let me know your opinions on this in the comments. Make sure to like and sub and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.